Here's your April market update for the Puget Sound. So what I'm noticing is that the market in Seattle is actually very segmented. You have homes on the east side that sell a lot differently than homes on the Seattle side. And then you have condos versus single family homes. So condos are selling a lot slower than single family homes. But that's all to say that everything has to be priced correctly and strategically in order to elicit new buyers for your home. So sellers, listen up. If you're thinking about overpricing your home, I would caution you to be very careful because the higher you price your home, the longer it's going to take for that home to sell. So I want to give you a few examples of clients that I worked with in April who closed on their sale and what's happening in the market. First, there's a single family home up in the Wedgwood, Maple Leaf, Ravenna area where we negotiated the price down to almost 6% below the list price. This was because the home sat on the market for quite a long time before we came in and we were the first buyers to make an offer on that home. This is one example of how a seller ended up overpricing their home to start and then the buyer came in, which is who I represented, and was able to negotiate quite a lower price. The second example is a condo that I listed that closed in April. Now the buyer that came for the condo originally started with an offer price that was much lower, but using some data for the condo market in that area, we were able to negotiate the price to just below 2% below the list price. So it was listed for 550 and it ended up closing for 540 with a few concessions in favor of the buyer. So that was one way that we negotiated for my sellers who were able to get almost 2% below the list price and not any more than that. The other example is a home on Queen Anne, which was a beautiful home that was move-in ready. The buyers that I was working with came in and made an offer before the open houses that weekend. So the home came on the market on a Thursday and by Friday we had submitted an offer that was compelling enough to get the sellers to accept it before any of their open houses. So this is one example of how acting quickly can actually get you the home for a better price because you're not having to compete with other buyers because you're moving quickly and you're making the offer before any other buyers can make the offer. We got this home for just a little bit below 1% over the asking price. So the buyers did have to pay a little bit more than the list price, but not a lot. And they didn't have to compete because we were so quick to move. Now, when we shift our focus to the Redmond market, it's a much different market. There's still multiple offers in the Redmond and Bellevue market. I listed a home in Redmond that was very close to Microsoft in April, and we ended up getting seven offers on the home within the first eight days. That home has sold for $30,000 over the list price. We listed it at $849,750 and it sold for $880,000 for all cash with no contingencies. So the Redmond market is very different and very competitive compared to the single family home market in some parts of Seattle and the condo market for sure. Now the condo market is very different. What we're seeing in the condo market is that things are sitting on the market quite a long time, especially if they're not priced correctly. So when you're pricing your home, sellers, just be aware that buyers are very savvy and they know what's going on in the market, so you need to price strategically if you want to sell quickly. And buyers, this is a great time for you. There are homes that are sitting out there that you can negotiate on and get a great deal. So there's your April market update. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me, DM me, or comment on this post. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.